Another story that caught my eye today from the Associated Press, APnews.com, and this was I'm reading the story. AP says it will capitalize black but not white by David Bowder, and this is the Associated Press on the Associated Press, which is kind of cool. A little weird at the same time. After changing its usage rules last month to capitalize the word black when used in the context of race and culture, the Associated Press on Monday said it would not do the same for white. The AP said white people in general have much less shared history and culture and don't have the experience of being discriminated against because of skin color. Protests following the death of George Floyd, which led to discussions of policing and Confederate symbols, also prompted many news organizations to examine their own practices and staffing. The Associated Press, whose style book is widely influential in the industry, announced June 19 it would ma make black uppercase. Now, I know there are a lot of racists and white nationalists jumping on this and racists on um, the side of a variety of races probably um i'm sure there are white supremacists and black supremacists and yellow supremacists and red and green and and purple and even jewish supremacists in the mix here now okay yeah it's those purple people you got to worry about but okay so there's there's a point here that is somewhat disturbing in terms of the mainstream media's approach to issues of race. Now, the story, I, I don't think it even says, let me just double check here. Um, no, okay, so what's June 19th, Jim? Oh, June 19th is, right? Uh, Juneteenth. Yeah, June. Very important holiday for Black America, really, for all Americans who care about freedom is a symbolic abolition, a moment of abolition of slavery, right? And they're saying that they just, they just so happen to announce it on June 19th that it would make black uppercase. And in this story, doesn't mention Juneteenth. Oh, I'm sure that was just a coincidence. Right. Now, I say this is a general supporter of Black Lives Matter. I still got to put a check on the media here and call out this kind of bullshit pandering and, and contradiction when I see it, right? Because why are you making black uppercase? Is it you suddenly realize that race is referred to by colors or when you refer to a race by a color that you're referring to a specific group and it should be capitalized? Or... Are you bowing to social pressure and or in some way trying to moralize virtue signal, you know, and, and say that, you know, and, and actually do a racist thing because you're saying that black is superior to white here. You're saying that, that the word black in this context, referring to this group of people in this culture, deserves to be capitalized. But when it's this group of people and this culture, and I'm not here to say there's a black people in a black culture. I reject all of this collectivization. There's no white people in white culture. Like, no, yeah, it's fun to say those things. I use those terms occasionally, but I'm not, I'm not trying to like reinforce these bigger constructs. But if you're recognizing these constructs and re like referring to, when you say black, black, people, black person, you're referring to the black race or the black culture, that group of people you would capitalize. And then, you got to do the same thing for white people, just as a matter of intellectual, stylistic integrity and consistency. So I'm not here to like defend the white race or defend the black race, or you know, I'm just just like, no, I'm sorry, Associated Press, this is some pandering bullshit, and it, it, and there is a kind of, uh, I, I think there's an anti-white racism that a lot of people are falling for right now that does need and deserve to be called out. You know, not all white people are racist. Not all white people, you know, own slaves. Not all white people, you know, are for uh, you know systemic racism. Not not, not all white people. Well, you know, and it's like no, you can't. You don't like. You want to stand up against bigotry. You want to stand up against racism and judging individuals by the groups that they're members of. You can't fight that evil 
with the same evil tactics and, and intellectual dishonesty. To quote Martin Luther King Jr., uh, love is the only thing that can drive out hate. Darkness cannot be used to drive out darkness. Only light can do that. And similarly, only love can drive out hate. And if you if your love is, is really consistent and honest, it'll be manifest with a little more intellectual consistency than we're seeing from the Associated Press right now.